All right, you can see that I have completed the first row. When I got to the end, again, there was no little diamond here, so I knew that that was the place to stop. Again, if you are um, curious about how many pages go across the row, that one page I showed you that had the layout, that would tell you. So I've got one row completed, and then I did the second row. And I would suggest going in that order, doing one row all the way across, doing the second row, and now we are going to connect the second row to the first. So at this point, you do have to cut along the top, just like we did side to side, so that you can join them up. This is where these long, these are quilting rulers, um, and you can find them at any uh, quilting store or any big box store. They're really awesome. And uh, you'll find them to be helpful in a lot of different situations. All right. It's tricky sometimes when you're going across something this far. When you get to the end, often it'll move a little bit on you. So just um, try to be holding it down pretty steadily. And if you need to, you can move your hand over. And this is where you can see if you have a fairly large mat, you'll do less um, moving around. And that's helpful too. OK, so I'm checking the side to see if I'm still square. And there we go. So now, just like we did side to side, we are going to put the rows together. You'll find now that it's possible that it's, you know, it could be a little off. So you're just going to have to split the difference and do the best you can. So what I do is try to see what, how it's looking in the middle. And then go over and check the side. The same on this side. You just might have to pull it up a little bit. And then I just place um, a couple pieces of tape. It's going to this side and getting it good. And back over here. And then I'm going to put large pieces of tape. So this is where you see you go through a lot of tape. At this point in the process, you might be thinking, I think I'm just going to buy that hard copy paper uh, pattern. <laughs> and that's just fine. I have a combination of both. And I think there are a few independent pattern companies that don't have hard copies available. They just do PDF. Um, and I think someone told me recently that there are like a hundred independent pattern companies. And the fact that they, they can do PDF patterns is really exciting because we have opportunity to access all of these independent designers. And if they only had paper copies available, that's a lot more complicated. So it's a really exciting development in sewing pattern industry. All right, so there you can see I've got them together. And you can, here's one piece. You can see how we have a whole piece. 